Hello, welcome back and thanks for popping in. Before I get started on tonight's show, I'm going to read out a couple of comments that I got regarding last week's show, which was on the Steffi Love Hawaii camper. Um, this is from EDT in Canada. Wow, this is an excellent vehicle set. It's got some great accessories and looks better than the modern Barbie camper. I was able to find one at Walmart's US site for $50. The, um, and that's all I'll read from that part. But because when I looked, I didn't look at, at any of those sort of sites. I just saw it on eBay for 129 so she's found it for 50 Then the next day she sent me, or they sent me, I don't know if they're male or female, um, EDT it is. I just ordered the camper along with Evie Love's little child-sized car. I was surprised I could find this set brand new without paying an arm and a leg. Other stores were charging $100 at the lowest. One thing I love about this channel is that I get to learn about some nice older toys that I probably would have never come across on my own. Thank you, EDT. That was very, very kind. That's what I hope. I hope you get to find some interesting different things on my channel, um, which you just might find interesting and enjoy. Other things might be old favourites, which we can just enjoy the love, you know. So, um, also just a couple of little shout outs to some new people. One of them is a uh, Queenslander. Hello, Kerry from Delaney's Creek, Queensland. Welcome. And FIFA Oki, Liz, and Sylvia. Hello. And welcome to all my new subscribers as well. Now, on tonight's show, I've got an amazing Lumbee haul. I happened to get this from my friend, a subscriber friend, Gino in Brisbane, and he is a Lumbee purist. He collects Lumbee, and it's only Lumbee in the dollhouse line. And he was getting rid of some stuff and offered me all this stuff for a really, really, really good price. So I grabbed it all. And it's not just this, there's some, a few things in the house which I'll get to later. But all this is Lumby. Some lovely stuff. We'll start off over here with the bedroom set. A nice wooden double bed. Now I didn't realise Lumby did much wood, well like this, but they did. It looks like an Ikea set, this wardrobe, doesn't it? With the little hangers, little wooden hangers. And the door opens on the bedside table. Just see how the door opens. And the bed's made, which is very nice. And then these prints are just off the 2006 Stockholm that I have, which is the big boxy one that has a pull-out pool and looks like a yacht, which I have done a previous show on. And then we've got this lounge suite here. It does look a little bit faded, but that's fine. I can do something with that. And this lovely dining room set. I think again, this might be faded. Although I remember my sister had a dining room set with this duck egg blue faded look um, fabric on her dining room suite and it was hideous. I hated it and it didn't wear very well. Sorry, Rhonda. <laughs> These chairs with the ornate work on it. And it came with this little, I don't know what that is. Is it a placemat or a tablecloth? And I have to show you this close up. Look at this lovely buffet sideboard with all these little pieces. I think that's beautiful. And this bathroom set, which all come on the panels, the wall panels, which have the seaside theme. Starfishes and little fish and shells. We got the toilet where the lid lifts up. Look at that little toilet brush. Couldn't you just die? <laughs> and the the bath with its accessories. And the double sink. I know some of these lit light up. These ones don't. And that comes with the little bath mat as well. And look at this tent. A cute little lumpy tent for the kids. Um, I may have to do a yard for this. If you've seen my other dollhouse episodes, you'll see I've done yards in them. This would be a big one, but that would look nice in a, in a, a back, you know, lumpy backyard with the little sleeping bags. And they open up. Then you've got this kid set, the double bunks with the made beds. And the little table and chair set. You throw in this little baby. I think that's sort of a maybe a play mat, or I'm not sure what that is. And I love this egg chair. I wish they had them full size. They're very, very funky indeed. And then that's not all. It also came with a transformer and drum roll, please. Maybe a heart. There we go. 
Lights, let there be light. I now have lights in my Lumbee. It also came with these three lights. I know they're all the same, but I'm just very grateful to have lights because I got all this lot for 50 bucks. It makes such a difference having lights. Plus, look at the fireplace. I love that fireplace. And now I know this is a 70s house, but I it was a computer as well, an old school computer with one of those towers. And I just had to put it in and light it up just to show you. you can, I'm not sure if you can see that tower in the dark. I think it's awesome. And these lights down here, I have actually got from my uh, 2000, 2006 Stockholm because um, they were loose. My other ones in the house are attached, which I will do that in another show because I've not seen that lit up yet. But I took them out and put them in here just to give it some light. Now, I'm very, very interested in now getting more lights. Um, I'll have to look at other sites because on eBay, they mainly come from the UK and the US and they're like from, from 20 something up to over $100 each, depending if they're used or in their packaging still. And uh, that's postage on top. So just, and there's, but there's floor lamps and there's lamps and there's chandeliers. There's some beautiful things, but they're very, very pricey. So I need to find an Australian buyer for that, possibly. I'm, I'm not sure if there even one exists. But, um, but yeah, and some of the, some other little things which from this set, sorry, from this haul that I've put in already is this lovely floral and fringe rug for the kitchen. And the curtains, those lovely kitchen curtains. I think it makes such a difference. So I, now I need, I need a lot more lighting and lamps and stuff like that because um, when I first showed this house a while ago, when I did one of my, uh, I think it was episode, dollhouse episode number two, I'm not sure what episode it was. But when I first showed this, I didn't even realize it had capacity to light up because I didn't even know there were, couldn't even see the plug in the back. There's a little rip of the paper that's on the board and I didn't know there was a plug in there. And I didn't, even when I was cleaning the house, I didn't even see the tiny little plugs that are in the back of the walls, which they're obviously there. But yeah, when I first got it, didn't know it would light up and it does, so I'm stoked. So this whole set and the transformer and the lights, 50 bucks. Thank you, Gino, I really appreciate it. So that's it, that's my little lumbee haul for the night, just a little quick one. And we'll be back very, very soon with, I'm not sure, but my Lumbee shows are doing really, really well. So don't forget to like and subscribe. And apparently a lot of the people that watch my shows aren't subscribers. So please, please, please subscribe. It really means a lot. It helps in the um, algorithms, getting us out there, getting us seen, getting us suggested. And it really means a lot, even though it, it, it doesn't take very much just to, to go, oh, uh, uh, like, uh. So hard. <laughs> Thank you and good night. <laughs>